Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this green triangle inscribed in a regular hexagon as you can see in this diagram. And moreover, the area of this hexagon is 60 square units. And now we are going to calculate the area of this green triangle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Before we proceed any further, let me make it clear that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's the very first thing we are going to look at it. This is a regular hexagon since each side is of equal length. And moreover, the vertices of this green triangle are at the midpoint of these sides of hexagon so therefore this is an equilateral triangle and here's our next step let's do some construction let's go ahead and connect uh, these opposite vertices of this hexagon let me go ahead and connect uh, this with this one and likewise i have connected uh, these vertices as well and now let's go ahead and connect uh, these two points as well let's go ahead and connect uh, this one and likewise, I have constructed these lines as well. And as a result, we are ended up with a bunch of these uh, tiny equilateral uh, triangles. And if we count all these uh, tiny triangles, they turn out to be a 24 of them, as you can see over here. And moreover, the number of these uh, tiny triangles inside this green triangle is going to be 9. Now we know that the area of this hexagon is 60 and there are a total number of these tiny triangles are 24. So therefore the area of each tiny triangle is going to be 60 divided by 24 and that would be equal to 2.5. And we know there are 9 of these tiny triangles so therefore the area of this green triangle is going to be 9 times 2.5 and if we multiply them it turns out to be a 22.5 so thus the area of this green triangle turns out to be a 22.5 square units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye